Scientists have made a significant discovery that may help improve the understanding of planetary environments. Using the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile, astronomers found a planet orbiting a double star system. This is the hottest and largest planet-hosting star system found to date. Until now, some experts believed planets could not exist around stars in B. Centauri's environment. To speak about the significance of this interstellar discovery, we're joined by Daniel Kahneman. He's with the South African Astronomical Observ Observatory. Uh, Daniel, thank you so, so much for your time. The uh, astronomy fraternity is very excited about this discovery. Help us mere mortals understand why. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks for having me. I, I think the, the, the exciting aspect of this is by discovering these new planets, and we're discovering new planets around other stars all of the time, uh, we're learning more about how planets form around stars. So up until now, we've had this feeling that planets can only form like they formed in our solar system. So you need a, a sun-like star and, you know, certain conditions, certain stability for planets to form. Uh, you know, we've got the eight planets. Uh, we, we know how, how they've formed over the years. Uh, but we don't understand how all the possibilities. So the more of these planets we're finding, and we're finding thousands of them now. Uh, they're, they're coming in, in different sizes, different orbits, and around different stars. And, and this one that we've we found now is a very extreme case with a, a massive and very hot star, and then a massive planet with a very, very big orbit, something which we, we never really thought we'd see. Uh, Daniel, why is understanding these planetary systems uh, important for the ordinary man on the street? So, uh, in, in general, I mean, we, we're, we're trying to understand better how our universe has formed and evolved. Uh, by doing that, we can, we can definitely understand our own solar system, how our Earth has formed. Um, but, but we're also looking, uh, and I think that, that everyone has this curiosity, we're looking for other habitable planets. Uh, we're looking for possibilities of, of planets that could uh, support life elsewhere. Uh, we're not really sure what that life could be or whether we could ever contact it. But uh, we, we are, we're looking for possibilities for these Earth-like planets uh, elsewhere. And I think that, that that's something which is very exciting. There's, there's some which have already uh, been discovered which, which are potentially uh, good candidates. But, but I think that understanding the, the general feeling or, or the sort of general um, rules and laws that, that govern planetary formation uh, is a big step uh, in knowing where to look. Uh, Daniel, with this new discovery, what are the things we are yet to understand and what are we, what are we going to be trying to find out as we go forward? Yeah, so as I mentioned, th this is a very a strange uh, planetary system. So the star we're talking about is about 100 times brighter than our sun. It's a very, very big star and very, very hot. So when these stars form, uh, they when they first light up, they give out a huge amount of energy which blows all the matter around them away. Uh, and that continues to happen. You know, the sun is, is pushing gas away from itself constantly. Uh, so for a planet to form around that star is very, very difficult. Uh, and that's why this one is, is particularly interesting because uh, there was sort of, with a, with a star of this size, uh, with our current understanding, there was no possibility for a planet to form, and yet one has. So it opens up a whole new avenue of, of where we can look. All right, Daniel, thank you so much for helping us understand that. Daniel Kanema, he's with the South African Astronomical Observatory.